It's the largest violation of U.S. sanctions on North Korea. Products made by global company British American Tobacco found their way into the hermit kingdom. The U.S. Department of Justice said the scheme violated U.S. bank fraud laws. British American Tobacco and its subsidiary engaged in an elaborate scheme to circumvent U.S. sanctions and sell tobacco products to North Korea through a corporate cutout in Singapore. This conduct, which will be explained more by my colleague Matt Graves, was in clear violation of our bank fraud laws and the International, Economic, uh, International Emergency Economic Powers Act. Between 2007 and 2017, British American Tobacco sold products to North Korea via a third-party company. The company earned $428 million in trade, the equivalent of 390 million euros, which was then sent back to British American Tobacco via payments made through U.S. banks. BAT allegedly pulled out of the scheme in 2016 due to increased sanctions on Pyongyang, but continued to sell cigarettes to North Korea's embassy in Singapore. Its CEO expressed his regrets for having conducted the business. We deeply regret the misconduct arising from historical business activities that led to these settlements and acknowledge that we fell short of the highest standards rightly expected of us. Smuggled tobacco products are some of the main revenue sources for North Korea's nuclear programs. The country also earned $700 million from trade with a parallel leaf tobacco ring. One North Korean banker and two Chinese nationals smuggled leaf tobacco to cigarette makers, processing $74 million of payments through the U.S. banking system. The three are wanted by the U.S. State Department and have a 4.5 million euro bounty on their heads.